Hey, how's it going? Swatch with me. Derwent Ink Tense Paint Pan Set Zero One. That's what it says. That's what it says on it. Ink Tense Paint Pan Set Number Zero One. Or hashtag. Or pound sign. Oh, anyway. This is the box that it came in. And this is the little color chart here. There's also this color chart that it comes with and if if you look closely there are little black numbers on there and those are the numbers that I put on because I rearranged the set just a little bit I mean I left these three the same and mango is in the same spot but I switched around I like to do the rainbow color set red orange yellow green blue purple and then brown, gray, and black. There's no gray in this one, though. But there is a black. There's no white. Okay, so this one is... Uh, I'm going to read them off to you on, the, on my card here. And the paper I'm using tonight is Artessa Expert Watercolor Paper. It's 140-pound paper. I actually like this one better than their premium style because the premium style is it's too toothy for me okay so this one is not quite as toothy okay so the oh no I'm just gonna read off the little sheet there I'm gonna read off of this sheet so we have poppy red mango sun yellow kiwi racing green teal green bright blue mid ultramarine dark plum Burnt Yellow Ochre, Natural Brown, and Ink Black. Okay. Then put the little box away. I like to keep the, the paints or at least keep the box nearby uh, or at least until I swatch them. So I probably won't put the pan back in. This is the pan. And these come out. So I tried it out because... <laughs> Why am I laughing? I tried it out because I had these two were originally as they were. Not, no, these, these two. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I had, oh, the, I can tell you. I moved the plum to over here. So I had mid ultramarine and bright blue, but this is supposed to be bright blue. And when I first saw it, I said, no way is that bright blue. So I had to try it out and took a piece of scrap paper so to speak and this is what i got from it from that dark look how dark that is and look how light the other one is next to it wow well that one that bright one is this one so this is mid ultramarine right here and this is bright blue oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can... It looks a little, like there's some glare. I hope not. If you can see what I'm doing. Don't, don't... <laughs> that might be too much. I'll get it right eventually. Okay, it, this also comes with this little spongy thing here. I won't likely use it. And it also came with... It came with this little pen, this little brush pen, right? How cute. Hey. <laughs> hey, I wonder if that will fit in. In this one. This is the... I have to do this one too. I have to swatch this one. This is from the Himi Mia people. And right now I have this pen in there. Hmm. They are the same size. But this one does not come with this. I think I did a haul for this one, I think. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. Okay, so I don't want to use this one because it's too small for me. So I'm going to use this one, which is by Artify, and it has a, a big brush. This one, oh, and it likes to roll. This one has this little 
As you can see, I used this one to try out the blue and the mid ultramarine. It's a nice pen. It's nice and small, but for this purpose, I'm going to use this one. I did give these a, a bit of a spray to wet them a little bit, but as you can see, <laughs> that is completely dried. And so maybe I should give it another spray. I don't know how much that will help or not. Also, this does say, um, right here, permanent, ooh, too close for you, permanent when dry, because they are ink tense paints. I'm excited. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay, we're going to try the poppy red. I think I went up too far on my sheet here, but... It's just a swatch card. Some of these paints also are loose. I can hear them shuffling. How are you? You're not going to be able to see <laughs> the paint. Ooh. Whoa, very bright. All right, very bright. Blue says hi. Or bye. I'm not sure. It's, he sounds distant. <laughs> Whoa. And of course, I do expect the colors to stay on because. Oh, it's not coming off. Is it? I can't tell. Yeah, a little bit. They're ink tense paints. So I expect the colors to stay on. There are only 12 colors. How long will it take the Crafty Cat Lady to do this? It'll take time. I'm not saying it's going to take a long time. Also, it's raining outside, so if you hear something that sounds like somebody's eating a muffled bag of chips, it's because we're getting a cold front in. Earlier today, the high was 90 degrees, and tomorrow it's supposed to be about 30 to 35 degrees colder. We're all going to freeze down here because we don't like it when the weather gets like that. Wow, that is... Look at that. Wow. Okay, that was mango. I need more water. It's just a smidge. Well, it doesn't seem to be coming off. Wow, I love these colors. Whew. Sun yellow. Did I say this was mango? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just did mango. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm almost done with the semester. Yay! That calls for hooray and applause and everything. <laughs> Okay, the color stays on the brush, but it doesn't stay on the brush, if you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Blue says hi again. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe, oh no, I hope you're not going after a bug. Maybe he's going after a bug, because he talks when he goes after bugs. Now that, that looks like it almost came off. That's kiwi. That's kiwi? Wow, super bright. I don't know why I expected it to be... Oh, I know why. Because this is kiwi. That is much brighter, much more vivid than what's on that little card. See, I, I never trust trust those uh, swatches that come with the box or come with the paints no matter the brand okay racing green what do you think this is gonna be racing green <laughs> I'm gonna say forest green 
Wow. Oh, it looks like lime jello in my brush tub. I haven't had jello in eons. And now we have an, an olive colored brush. Cool. It looks kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, the next one is teal green. Did you put enough water on here, Tammy? No, no you didn't. Wow. That's amazing. I'm just also I was looking at I was looking for my cold press paper and I forgot that I have a pad of it underneath my desk over here on the other side and I could have used if I would have thought about that the last time I swatched what did I swatch <laughs> how quickly she forgets I just looked at the list because while I was looking for cold press paper I found a swatch of Sargent Art watercolor pencils and they're labeled and they're in little squares and everything I'm thinking did I do these so I actually had to go in and I'm just making sure I'm, I'm that the, the paper is in the viewing area for you and I, I go in I look I had to look at my catalog. I keep a catalog of what I've done, my swatches and stuff, and or a record, I guess. Ooh. <clears throat> That's very nice. And I found this sheet, watercolor on watercolor paper, and it said at the top, Sergeant Art 50 watercolor pencils. So I looked in my binder. Well, at first I looked in my list, my swatching list. Okay, the next thing is this one. Mid Ultramarine. I tell you, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to put it in there. And I didn't have it in the binder and it's not listed in the swatching swatch with me folder on my hard drive and I thought I don't think I ever did this one now what did I do with those sergeant art watercolor pencils because I made a swatch card <laughs> did I make did I do it on video but like maybe it was before I started the swatch with me series maybe I don't know. I don't remember doing it on video. I bet I did it, uh, you know, not on video and I needed to do it or uh, I don't know. I don't know. But I did manage to go through my my entire Swatch With Me binder. This is called Plum. Oh, Dark Plum. Yes, I agree. Dark Plum. Hmm. That's kind of a nice color. Now I'm hungry for plums. Thanks a lot, Derwent. <laughs> what is that on my thing? <clears throat> that looked like one of my hairs. <laughs> Sorry, maybe two TMI for you. So right now that swatching card is covering, is the cover of my binder, my swatching binder. I'm, it's just a temporary thing. Burnt yellow ochre. I would have said burnt orange. It kind of has that ochre color. Okay, 
natural brown. So I, I, like I said, I went through the binder, all of them, and counted them and matched them, made sure that everything was in order. And it is. And I thought, when I finish this binder, wow, look at that. <laughs> I'm going to do a flip through of my Swatch With Me binder. I have uh, many more sleeves to go to fill it up. So I think this is number... This one I think is 49. Number 49. And it, if I do one swatch card per sleeve, well actually two swatch cards per sleeve, or two swatching videos per sleeve, I should say, then the it goes up to 93 more swatching well it goes up to 93 not 93 more so 30 no <laughs> i don't know what i'm thinking 48 tammy we're on 48 so far i think it's the lighting that's ink black all right 48 and then Whatever the number is between 48 and 93. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I, I, it's, it's late. It's late. I need to go to bed. I need to take my melatonin. And then, then tomorrow I need to... Or actually later today I need to edit the video. Okay, so this is what we have as far as the brush goes. I know you wanted to see that. And this is what we have for these vibrant, vibrant colors. So I'll just say, which one of these is your favorite? Hmm. For me, it's kind of hard to tell. I, I like the bright blue and the dark plum and the teal green those are pretty cool now the next time i swatch i will show ink tense paint pan set two i know you're looking forward to it in two weeks that's all just two weeks i'm gonna put these no i have to keep those open keep these open so you should keep your watercolor paints open until they dry and then you can close them up that way you don't risk them getting moldy no you don't want that that would be horrible that's all i have please comment like share and subscribe thanks for watching and have an artistic day bye